Present were Captain Craig Brathwaite, Joshua De Silva, and Antigua and Devon Thomas, a selectee in the test squad for the first time. Prime Minister Brown encouraged the players to show resilience. So I think that the resilience is there, but perhaps you're not conscious of it, and this is the reason why I'm bringing this issue to your attention, especially you, Mr. Um, Captain, um, team leader. You have to provide a type of leadership for all of your players, ensuring that they're disciplined. Uh, I mean, at times when we hear, for example, that um, you know, your preparation may not have been the best, but at that level, your preparation must always be the best. Brathwaite concurred with PM Brown's suggestions. The Barbadian acknowledged that attitude is a key requirement and they'll be able to put their best foot forward. Once we keep our attitude in the workplace, as I said, even if you don't have the facilities, but you've got the right attitude towards whatever you have, I think that you know, goes a long way. So, you know, for sure as a test team, you know, we'll be working towards, you know, making the people proud and, you know, and doing well and showing our resilience that, you know, is needed. Present too was Sports Minister, the Honourable Daryl Matthew, who encouraged Thomas, a wicketkeeper batsman with limited overs experience, but is yet to appear at the test level. And be assured that once we are confident that you have done your best, we are happy, irrespective of the result. All we can ask is for you to go, do your best, be an excellent ambassador of Antigua and Barbuda, and be an <coughs> excellent ambassador of the sport of cricket. Also, Tourism Minister Max Fernandez touched on the link between cricket and tourism and the value of the sport to the economy. The first test will bowl off on Thursday. Jack Matthew, ABS Sports.